Li Qingyuan was born at an uncertain date in Kijiangxian, Sichuan, Qing Empire. He spent most of his life in the mountains and was skilled in Qigong. He worked as an herbalist, selling lingji, goji berry, wild ginseng, he wu and gotu cola along with other Chinese herbs, and lived off a diet of these herbs and rice wine. It was generally accepted in Sichuan, that Li was fully literate as a child, and that by his tenth birthday had traveled to Gansu, Shanxi, Tibet, Vietnam, Thailand and Manchuria with the purpose of gathering herbs, continuing with this occupation for a century, before beginning to purvey instead herbs gathered by others. It was after this he relocated to Kaizyan and there Li supposedly, at 72 years of age, in 1749, joined the army of provincial commander-in-chief Yuzhong Chai, as a teacher of martial arts and as a tactical advisor. In 1927, the National Revolutionary Army General Yang Sen invited him to his residence in Wanzian, Sichuan, where the picture shown in this article was taken. The Chinese warlord Wu Pifu took him into his home in an attempt to discover the secret of living 250 years. He died from natural causes on May 6, 1933 in Kaizian, Sichuan, Republic of China and was survived by his 24th wife, a woman of 60 years. Li supposedly produced over 200 descendants during his lifespan, surviving 23 wives. Other sources credit him with 180 descendants, over 11 generations, living at the time of his death and 14 marriages. After his death, the aforementioned Yang Sen wrote a report about him, a factual account of the 250-year-old good-luck man, in which he described Li's appearance, he has good eyesight and a brisk stride, Li stands 7 feet tall, has very long fingernails, and a ruddy complexion. Plexion. Timeline of Li Qingyuan's life according to generally Yang Sen. Yang Sen. In Kajian County, Sichuan Province, in the year 1677 Li Qingyuan was born. By age 13 he had embarked upon a life of gathering herbs in the mountains with three elders. At age 51, he served as a tactical and topography advisor in the army of General Yu Zhangkai. When 78 he retired from his military career after fighting in a battle at Golden River, and returned to a life of gathering herbs on Snow Mountain in Sichuan Province. Due to his military service in the army of General Yu Zhangkai, the imperial government sent a document congratulating Li on his 100th year of life, as was subsequently done on his 150th and 200th birthdays. In 1928, Dean Wu Chung Chen of the Department of Education at Mingkuo University discovered the imperial documents showing these birthday wishes to Li Qingyun. His discovery was first reported in the two leading Chinese newspapers of that period, North China Daily News and Shanghai Declaration News, and then one year later in 1929 by the New York Times and Time magazine. Both of these Western publications also reported the death of Li Qinyun in May 1933. In 1908 Li Qinyun and his disciple Yang Hexuan published a book, The Secrets of Li Qinyun's Immortality. In 1920, General Zhang Yang interviewed Li, publishing an article about it in the Nanjing University paper that same year. In 1926, Wu Pifu invited Li to Beijing. This visit coincides with Li teaching at the Beijing University Meditation Society at the invitation of the famous meditation master and author Yin Shizi. Then in 1927, generally Yang Sen invited Li to Wangxian, where the first known photographs of Li were taken. Word spread throughout China of Li Qingyun, and Yang Sen's commander, General Chiang Kai-shek, requested Li to visit Nanjing. However, when Yang Sen's envoys arrived at Li's hometown of Chenjiakang, they were told by Li's wife and disciples that he had died in nature, offering no more information. So, his actual date of death and location has never been verified. 